Morning everybody, how are we all doing? Hope everybody's had a fantastic weekend. Um, it's just gone five past ten. Um, I'm going to need to jump in the shower soon because I've got a doctor's appointment at 11 o'clock. Um, then got paperwork to fill in, stuff like that. Uh, not sure what's happening the rest of the day. Um, no, so I think for the time being, I shall go and go in the shower, get all washed and all that sort of thing, then get ready. I'll be back very soon. Well, that's me back from the doctors. Oh. Paperwork, details of counsellors. I need to ring, ring them and see if they can help sort out the mess that I've got up here. Oh. Uh, so, hope so. Let's hope so. Start thinking straight for once. Uh, been given some more meds as well. Been given uh, beta blockers for the palpitations and chest pains and all that sort of thing that I've been getting. Uh, just came as and when needed. But I have been checked for the chest pains in the past and it's always just been down to anxiety um, and stress and stuff like that rather than anything actually cardiac. So, But the last week when I was in meetings, before the meetings, after the meetings, well, definitely during the meetings, chest was pounding. You know, it's... Uh, Stress levels are going through the roof. So I've been given some beta blockers for that. As well as uh, on top of the antidepressants I already take. Uh, yeah, I've got a ring work in half an hour. So just going to relax for half an hour. Try to unwind before I ring them. Hey, so. mm. oh, oh, what an afternoon. I just I feel out of sorts today I'll be honest I just don't feel right in myself and it's one of those one of those days uh, got weighed this morning I put a bit of weight on even though I stuck to me diet 100% this week so I was a bit bit down about that um, and that sort of <laughs> that something minor like that you know that's how easy my mood changes it's like just puts us on a downer uh, uh, I had a nice chat with uh, Alan Sharkey on a hangout that was good to catch up uh, speak to him before he goes back to work tomorrow he's actually back at work today but I think he's on a rest day today so so it was nice to catch up with him uh, so he'll be at work tomorrow or by the time you see this it'll be today so Tuesday uh, so good luck to him for that. Um, then I've just gone all out of. We've got these cubby holes. Hold on, I'll show you. Oh. Do, 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 do. We love IKEA. We've got like IKEA shelves there, and cookery books, and that sort of thing. We've got this one here, which has got all these pulley out things, which admittedly mainly full of junk. Um, so. Uh, sod it. I needed somewhere to put the fish tank stuff, all the bowl, the siphon. Um, oh, oh, Lenny's making an appearance. Hey. Uh, yeah, so all the, f all the fish stuff, siphon, bowl, um, food, additives, so all the chemicals and all that sort of thing. Because um, it was sat on top of the unit and I was sick of it being there. So I cleared out the bottom draw and hoid loads of stuff out threw loads of stuff out sorry there was boxes in there which were empty and ripped all them up for recycling and even thrown out my dad's slippers um which he was using at hospital when when he passed away which was hard but i know that when i opened the bag and see the bag i could just hear my dad saying don't be daft you know throw them out but uh, I don't need them. I'm going to throw them away. Um, I 
try not to be sentimental about silly little things and slippers, you know. Uh, so I've kept them, but I've kept his woolly hat because he wore his woolly hat all the time, and that woolly hat is probably older than me. Uh, I think he used to use it when when he worked on the railways before I was born. So, and it's still going. It was a really, obviously, a really good quality woolly hat, um, but I've kept that, you know. So, but the bottom drawer. Uh, the bottom drawer is now empty, so I've got somewhere to keep all my fishy stuff. Let's that out. Okay, nice and tidy. Uh, so, took the chance just while the house is quiet. Uh, washing's in, ready to go, and then stuff in the tumbler. But I've actually done a water change here, and it turns out this thing here, this big black box. Uh, that's what we had in the tank, which we were told, yep, yeah, put that in, da, 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 da. I'll keep the water clean, all that sort of thing, and uh, with the additives and all that sort of thing, yeah. That's only a pump. <laughs> I know me and Denise are both completely new to keeping fish, and it's only a pump. It's just circulating there. That's all it's doing. It's not filtering it. So I put the filter in that we got originally um, with with the tank where oh when we when we first bought a filter I put that in. Now that is a proper filter, so we'll see if that actually does anything. Because from what everything I've researched, having a filter and having a pump is nothing to do about the air. Um, the 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 aeration of the water is just caused by ripples on the water, not the bubbles going into the air. So, okay, it's something new. So hopefully, this filter might help give me water clear. Because obviously, fish are using the water. I'm changing the water because it keeps getting misty. Hey, there he goes. You can actually see him moving now. Hey, look at them go. Tell you what, when he goes, he goes fast. Doesn't normally come out during the day. <laughs> yeah, so having the filter and having the pump both do the same job apart from the filter obviously filtrates the water. So what's the point of having the pump? You know, so <laughs> uh, so I put the filter on, hopefully that's gonna help and stop the water going misty. So, you know, like the food going in there, goldfish and the fish doing the business in the water, stuff like that. And goldfish are renowned for being, for pooing a lot, you know, so. Uh, so the pump wasn't actually cleaning it. So it was like, I'm changing this, all this water when it wasn't actually doing any good, really. Might, might clean it for a few hours and that, that's it be back to normal so got the filter now hopefully that will help you know but it just means that uh, gonna start cycling it because we've now gone it's over two weeks now so that should have been two weeks life in the tank where it was building up bacteria and all that sort of thing which it's supposed to do and it turns out it wasn't even a, it wasn't even a filter it's a pump so that's like over two weeks wasted. So there you go. That's that's my little rant finished for the moment. Uh, what sort of positions are to be sitting in? Yeah, looking innocent. Yeah, that's that sort of look when you've just been caught doing something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Denise has just been on the phone, just stuck in traffic. Uh, it looks like there's been a crash on the A1, something like that. Uh, so, she's going to be a lot later than I was expecting. She's got to go and pick Georgia up from, from her mother's house. <coughs> then come home, and we're going to have a quick walk around, around the corner to the shops. And... I'll speak to Denise tonight. Uh, yeah, I've just uh, I've just told her that I'm feeling down, so she she doesn't know why yet. 
You know what it is? I'm sure there was something else I wanted to say, but I cannot remember what the heck it is. Yeah. It'll probably come to us like tonight when I'm lying in bed trying to get to sleep when I can't get my brain to shut off. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I'd come out uh, while I'm waiting for Denise getting home, Denise and Georgia. I thought I'd come out into the garden and check out the weather because it's been pretty gloomy all day. It's actually been raining as well today. But all of a sudden it's decided to come out sunny. It's like blazing sunshine, not a cloud in the sky. Look at that. Yeah. come out, the cats are waiting to be fed because we've run out of cat food, so Denny says having to get that on the way home. Yeah, it's absolutely red hot. Well, it's that time of night to relax. Denise is all wrapped up in a throw. And what are them things called again? I can't remember. A snuggie or something? A snuggie, uh, wrap it up. It's got sleeves in and things like that. Have any battery left? Yes. Uh, but they are dead cosy. But yeah, sitting on there, she's tired from work. We've had a nice tea tonight. We had something from the Chinese takeaway. A chicken and mushroom, which is like chicken and like a gravy, and onions, things like that, with boiled rice. It was really nice. Uh, but we're going to sit down and watch Dark Skies, which is a film that we started watching last night, but um, it was on too late. So we're going to watch the rest of it tonight. And then Denise will be off to bed. <laughs> if she even sees it, because she never sees the end of films. She always ends up asleep. Uh, we'll be off to bed and we'll catch you all tomorrow. <laughs> oh, the cats are starting to fight. <laughs> okay, bye for now.